and load years as per the request of subscriber this video is for you horizontal step progress bar in android inside android studio 4.0 so let's look at the final output of this tutorial if you click on up then it will be in the progress to the another state or another step and it can be reduced also so horizontal step progress bar inside android let's start as per the android guideline upgrade your android studio to 4.0 in this video we are using view binding to replace the find view by id so let's start horizontal step progress bar in android go to android studio and click on empty activity so this one is ots one time step for the view binding capabilities just write view binding enable equals to true make sure your internet connection be on after that we are going to add this dependency to build.gradle file com dot anton 46 colon steps view whatever the latest version is available on the internet so this one is the step one step two we are going to use one step view and two buttons one for upside and one for downside and after that we are load initial code means starting position of the step bar or and write the listener for the buttons so let's start go to android studio file new and new project with empty activity and give the name whatever you want to give demo underscore step underscore pb whatever the name you want to give it's a power progress bar so i will give the name like this one so all the steps are ready i am going to build dot gradle file and first i am going to add this dependency so just i type implementation okay and make sure your internet connection is on and click on sync now there are two codes that we are going to write the first one is this one and another for view binding view binding code we are not writing any dependency just write view binding and enable equals to true there is no semicolon is needed so whatever the view binding code it is not dependency just we need to write inside this android scope after that just click on sync now make sure your internet connection should be on so all the stuffs are ready to add the capabilities just we write two lines for view binding activity mean binding it is automatically generated class decide the variable binding equals to activity mean binding dot inflate and get layout inflator press semicolon over here just type binding dot get root this is the two lines of code that we need to write to add the capabilities of view binding to replace the find view by id after that we are going to design this screen or our layout file so just i increase the size of this one and first one i want to make it with the steps view so you can make sure that this one is a steps view just i write this one and first i want to give the id so at the red plus id give the id as pb so step progress bar width will be match parent and height will be wrap content left to left of right to right of it is okay just i remove this line which one is bottom to bottom of margin top i want to set 20 dp and i also want to set the padding over here padding of 10 dp inside the parent layout so first one is ready with step view just two buttons i want so just type button width will be whatever the width you want to give i want to give 150 dp 
content give the id at the rate plus id btn underscore down and what are the code you want to write you can write over here just i want to write left to left of right to right of and copy from this one there is no top to top of i want to give top to bottom of spb okay give the id okay btn down is there okay then i want to give the text text will be just write down and text size will be 30 sp okay and text color should be white so just i make it white and background will be black so it looks nice so see this one but i don't want this right to right off just i remove this one and margin you can set margin top i want to set the margin top currently it is 20 dp i want to make it 100 so everything is fine just i copy this one control c and just i paste it to control v it is for the up so just i write up and over here change the text to up and this one it is right to right of parent okay so two buttons are here one is for down another is for up another all the things are red with the screen design so just i close this one and write the coding for the main activity dot java design point of view all the things are ready so first thing i want to write it is declare the steps whatever you want to give like a string array of description i want to write description data what are the data you want to write likewise what is the first state what is the second state i want some personal information and uh, family and that is to upload the photo i think then you can upload the photo y and the second and the last one is final okay and uh, i want to write integer current underscore state equals to zero starting from the zero i want this one is zero one two and three total four steps are there so just i write inside this one first time we are going to load with the initial so binding dot spb is there set labels and what are the string array we have just i write to this one after that i will set set bar color indicator whatever the color you can set by two ways one is color dot whatever the by default color class and another if you have you are on another things then you can set with this one also set progress color indicator then the second way is get resources dot get colors and r dot color dot whatever the color you want to set so it is the second way so and you can set set label color indicator what are the label are there I also want to set with the same color so get resources dot get color r dot color dot color so up to now all the things are set and I want to set completed position so first is zero and draw view it is necessary thing draw view it is the initial one so how you want to initialize the first uh, position or first state or first type of progress bar so after that just i want to set binding dot spb dot set then completed position set it is current state so it's the initial one whatever the initial position you want to write you can do it so only two things are remaining one it is code for binding dot btn up dot set on click listen new space and control space 
after that just write if current state is less than i want to make the descriptive test description data dot length minus one so it's a uh, logical you can think that from the starting to end minus one so if it is none i will assume that current state equals to current is state plus one and just type binding dot spb dot set completed position whatever the current state but after that mind well you need to set draw view so all the things are ready just i copy this one and paste it over here for the down okay so in this one just we write if current state is greater than zero then and then do it minus one so everything it is clear if you want to make the log you can type log dot d then current state equals to whatever the current state plus double quote it is for the automatic type promotion just i copy this one and paste it over here so i think that all the code is ready just i press shift f10 just mind well that why we write these line current state one and why we write these line because for the not force close the application so that's why we are writing these two lines so it is very easy and very nice practical for the horizontal step progress bar see this one so by default it is set completion completed position is zero already here at the person and if you set up up and up and down down and zero so it is zero one two and three then two one and zero if you press again there is nothing will be happen if your precaution step is there so if you go over here so only application go to verbus and this one then you can see the position can increase and decrease likewise this one one two and three if you again press it will remain the same and down two one and zero so all the things are here inside the log kit because log is the friend of developer so very nice practical for horizontal step progress bar as per the final output commitment is ready horizontal step progress bar in android it is just an experiment and i want to share with you so i think you like this one thanks for watching this tutorial keep coding keep learning and be happy like it subscribe this channel thank you thank you very much